welcome back to the channel today I wanted to talk about things that I have learned in the past decade in these past 10 years things that have happened to me changed my perspective and made me change my perspective change the way I see things change the way I understand things and just help me learn who I am as a person I've been for the past 10 years rather I have been living in Pennsylvania I moved here from New York from Queens New York and I love my hometown but um we decided to move out here to give our kids a better quality of life a better way of life and for the schools they are really excellent and we decided to do that um, that decision and transition wasn't easy at all um, it put a strain between me and my husband but after a while and that's just because I'm trying to keep it 100 um, it did put a strain on our marriage the move the decisions that we made um, it was really really hard in the beginning guys I was pregnant with, when I moved in when we moved into this house I was pregnant with my son who was nine and it was a really hard transition it's dark as hell out here and everything closes early <laughs> um, it was a big adjustment to make and my husband um, works in the city so he had to commute and that was hard on him it's, it still is because he still commutes in the past 10 years I have had a baby I moved to a new state I started college over again at 30 I think I was 35 or 36 and I graduated at 39 I started a new job <clears throat> and I was promoted twice I have learned that I need to be patient with myself because I I don't give myself enough credit and they always say give yourself credit but since it's you you don't feel like you deserve it you don't feel like you even know how to give yourself credit or you feel funny about giving yourself credit um, yeah be patient I learned to be patient with myself and to give myself credit when I know things when I figure out things or and I don't make the same mistake again and especially things with my kids or my husband or my job um, being patient with myself has given me a new perspective I, I, I used to be very high strung and rushed everything and I learned how to just sit back and be still and listen and learn and being patient with myself and I, I want you guys to to learn that too to be patient with yourself just give yourself some leeway no matter what it is if it's you know you're trying to clean up your credit you're trying to get into a new career you're trying to have a new relationship you're just trying to get on with life be patient and pace yourself because rushing things you make mistakes you make decisions that you have to live with for the a long time if not the rest of your life I'm a visual learner and the whole time I was in school as a child and as a young adult I did not know these things I struggled through school for a very long time because of this and I I have un unofficially diagnosed myself with ADD because when you read the symptoms and you see people and children who have ADD and ADHD, I was that I was that kid, but I didn't know that. I would start one thing and not finish it and jump on to the next thing, or because I didn't understand something, I would give up on it and move on to the next topic or subject. And I didn't have anybody in my corner to push me and say, slow down, you know how to do this, take your time and think about it just think about it first I did not think about things I just oh, I gotta I gotta hurry up and do it I gotta rush no matter what it was I, that's how I used to operate and I don't operate like that anymore um, and that's one thing I learned about myself but being a visual learner um, I have to see things be done before I can grasp the concept it doesn't matter what it is and at 41 I, I learned this at 39 years old really that's like two years ago and at 41 it's starting to make sense it doesn't matter what it is when I get an email at work for work related things 
they're talking about systems and processes and I'm just like what but I know now wait until you get into your office <laughs> open the email I have to print it out I have to highlight and read things to make myself understand it better look at this traffic I'm a visual learner and there's nothing wrong with being a visual learner if that's how you learn that's how you learn at least you're getting the job done and you're passing your classes and not only just passing but getting good grades I was on a dean's list as an adult in college so when I finally figured out my learning curve and how I understand and process information, it just helped me in that area. And now I feel better about learning things. I don't run from them. I just take my time. And and and, and that's the, the biggest thing that I learned and the biggest thing that is helping me today. I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. We're going into a new decade. It's 2020. And um, I want you guys to have the best 2020 the best new year that you can possibly have and I have to be at this meeting at 2 o'clock so let me tell you about that also I'm headed to New Jersey to my old team um, my old manager is giving his quarterly meeting and he invited all the, the members of the management team so I'm going back to see a couple of people that I used to work with but mainly because Number one, he invited me. Number two, he gets to gonna have pizza. Number three, um, I'm giving my own team meeting as a manager next Monday. So I'm just going to get some pointers, just to get some ideas on how to facilitate my own meeting. So I'm really excited about that. And at this meeting, I'm going to, I should've got off. And at this meeting, I'm gonna present my team, which I only have 12 of them, thank God, um, with some um, Christmas presents or holiday presents, whatever. Um, when I stop driving, I'll show you what I purchased for them. But I want you to come to Walmart with me as I buy them gift cards. <music> Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. They said say Nick, but you gotta be that. Alright, I'm about to walk into Walmart. I've never vlogged inside of a store, like by myself with this camera, so let's see if this is awkward as awkward as I think it's going to be. Alright, I have 12 um, employees. I have to get 12, 12 gift cards. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. They say, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. They say, say, Nick, what you got up Um, forgive me if I look a mess. Because <laughs> this wig is all over the place. And I don't remember where I parked. If I ever stay in a, in a place too long, I never remember where I parked my car. Oh, here we are. I'm a first-time manager. Um, I make a year in, Feb in February of 2020 and um, so what we do in my company in my hospital you probably do this at your job too um, at the end of the year for holiday for Christmas the managers usually give their um, the managers usually give their team the people that they manage gifts so what I decided to do was um, I went to Dollar Tree and I got exactly 12 <laughs> candy canes because I have 12 um, employees. I got 12 candy canes from Dollar Tree. And I also got these um, stockings, mini stockings from Dollar Tree as well. I have different kinds. This one is just a plain one satin stocking. Um, this one has a picture of a, a little snowman or something on here. That one. Then I have, oh, this is the same one. And these are plain again. 
and I have these little labels which I probably I thought I bought stickers because I was gonna I was gonna put a sticker on here with their name on it and just put put it right here on the top of the stocking but I didn't get that I got tags so I guess somehow I'll tie it to the um, tie it to the stocking I don't know I thought I had stickers and then the last ones are these so I got two and then I have these cards which I'm gonna fill out and just say um, thank you for a great year because guys like I said I'm a, I'm a new manager and this team was unique in that it's it's a different culture in that area and they were really nice to me and um, very respectful they you know they could have complained about a lot of things that I did or didn't do but they they haven't and I'm grateful to them they are a really good team I'm so glad I have them um, I tell them that all the time but I definitely want them to know this time around um, that they have really been a good team for me especially a new manager coming out of not 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 having experience but I've had experience with management but as a supervisor so it's different now when you're actually the manager of the supervisor too you saw the cards that I got I got 12 gift cards for them um, I really this is the best one this is really pretty and then this regular one and so you saw them so I have 12 of these and I'm going to put them in each of the stockings with their name on it with the candy cane and the card and that is the thank you from me as their manager for a really great year and um, that's that I want you guys to have a really good Christmas I don't celebrate Christmas but I want you to have a really good Christmas with Christmas with your family and friends and I hope that it's a great holiday for you so I'll catch you in the next one bye mm -hmm.